Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud BI Force. In today video, we are going to upload a CSV file in Databricks Community Edition. Okay, so let's get started. So these are few steps which we are going to follow. I'm just setting the agenda of this me particular video. So we we will have to log in in Community Edition. Then we will have to create a cluster. We'll have to upload a file and we'll have to write some command to read the file or we have a, a kind of feature in Databricks where we can take help of Databricks to create a notebook having some basic commands uh, written for us okay so let's start I already have logged in so go to compute here we will have to create a cluster so I already have created to save time but just by clicking on create compute and here you have to give the name of cluster anything like anything we can give here all other things we will keep as default because we are using community edition this is the runtime and spa config and environment variables will be like as it is since we are using community additions we cannot create um, another uh, cluster so i will just cancel it but for you you will have to create uh, click create here now once the cluster is created just click again on the compute you will see uh, your cluster name with the state which is cluster running uh, a line will be appear for you here to know okay the cluster is running or not created or not okay so let's move to catalog where we actually going to upload a file so when we click on catalog we have to uh, we have this kind of ui so here is create table <coughs> under upload file here is a section draw file to upload we will just click here and then just choose our file which we want to upload then we can see the file has been uploaded at this path fact now suppose we just leave it as it is and we create a notebook then in notebook we will have to write commands to read this particular file but if we don't want to write the commands we can use this this particular option will create a notebook and that notebook will be having some uh, already written commands to read this file okay just let's just directly check with this a notebook has been created with today date so even you can read here this notebook will show you how to create an query a table or data frame that you uploaded to dbfs and what is dbfs data breaks file system data breaks file system allows you to store data for querying inside the data breaks perfect so these are the commands are already written for you to save the time this is the facility provided by uh, db uh, not dbs databricks actually uh, but if you don't want uh, to create a file by databricks you can create your own notebook and then you can write the same command so what here we can see okay let let's suppose you have created your own notebook first thing you by using uh, db utils command you will be able to see if your file is successfully uploaded or not or what are all other files uh, uploaded in uh, databricks file system by using db utils dot file system which is fs file store tables if you run this run this particular cell with this button One more thing make sure your cluster is tagged here with the notebook you are running so it it should be green and your cluster name 
if you have multiple clusters suppose you are uh, using databricks in aws or azure so make sure you you choose the correct cluster where you want to run your query so if after running this query we can see we have a file already uploaded at this path so if you have more files already uploaded you will be able to uh, list you you will be able to list uh, those files here right now suppose you want to read the file so to read a file you, you have to use spark read format the format is csv and then load path of the file this is the path of the file you will have to remove this dbs part semi single quote also yeah if you try to uh, run this spark.read attribute with some of the options like format and the path of file then you will end up like this but this is not the objective of the reading file you need you you really want to see the da actual data so for that first you will have to store this result set into a data frame so i have used a word df uh, to create a data frame and what is data frame data frame is just like a uh, kind of variable uh, which will store your data in tabular format so uh, but you can give the name uh, of data frame anything if you click here and you will be able to see the help also like a distributed collection of data grouped into columns now like i want to see the data df dot so this is the method let's say i want to read only top five records yes now we can see the data here but here is the problem we can see only four actual records because our first record from the file first row from the file is considered as a data not header so header we need to specifically tell to data breaks like my first row is uh, my header and another thing let's check what what are the data types so again we're going to our data frame then we will call the print schema method yes you see these are the dummy column name given by databricks c0 c1 c2 and the data type all are string because this is the default behavior of the databricks databricks will uh, consider the data type as a string by default so but if you want like uh, the actual data type should be used then you need another option which is infer schema so these kind of uh, things uh, you need to write in your command so that's why uh, databricks provide us a facility like when you upload file you just go with the creating table with notebook so that will give you some pre-written commands for example over here he has already used infer schema first row as header delimiter and then again all these options uh, used in spark.read uh, attribute effect so this was uh, one of the way to upload and read a file quickly another thing if you go here let's suppose i i again want to upload file so you can choose this option also create table with ui so what does it mean so first you have uploaded a file now you can read this file technically you preview this file and here itself by uh, having a look on some of the 
top records you will be able to change the uh, format that you going to have in your databricks for example my first row as a header see now this is header now in for schema if if you don't use this the old data types are just string 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 but if you choose this now the data type will be detected double double int int perfect if you file having multi-line you can also choose this and from here you can create a table so in this way you can play all the options available here this is the basic thing i just wanted to record this thank you for watching this video please subscribe and like